Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of a Senator President. Now, I know I've done a video on Senator President before. This one's different. This one has a steel nib, so I'll be comparing it to the gold nib because that's really the only thing that's different. I mean, it looks the same, doesn't it? Uh, so, let's dive into it. So, we're looking at the steel uh, Senator President, and... You might remember that in on this channel I have previously reviewed one that has a gold nib. So let's just quickly replace my pen stand here, or pen rest. Uh, so if you're trying to keep them straight, this one is the steel, this one is the gold nib. Uh, another distinguishing feature is my gold nib one happens to have some Ukrainian writing on it because it talks about the Ukrainian Ministry of Coal. Um, had some trouble over that with the FBI uh, last winter during the whole impeachment thing, but you know they seem to have left me alone since then, so I've been brave enough to use the pen again. So let's take a look at the steel one, and then we'll briefly look at how they compare, and then we'll do a writing sample with each. So the steel one looks exactly like the gold one, except for there's only one difference I can see on the outside. My gold one has kind of a, a matte finish right there. The steel one here has, you know, not matte finish. Other than that, I can't find anything. Uh, they both come with a blind cap over the piston turning knob. I like that generous size piston turning knob. Some pens, it's, you know, really hard to grab. Look inside, segmented ink window. And here is that lovely, maybe, steel nib. We'll find out. This is a fine. I should note that my gold nib here is a broad. And then the feed is, I kind of think it's ebonite, but I don't know that. I just have the feeling it's ebonite. So, I, I have previously inked up the gold one with, uh, oh, actually, before I do that, so let, oops. Ah! let's look at just some detail here. So that's the only superficial difference on the outside that I see. Well, other than the Ukrainian writing. Um, if we look at the feeds, the uh, gold one is already inked up, which is why it's wet. But the feeds look the same. Uh, the gold one may be inserted a little more deeply, I don't know. And then if we look at the nibs, again, the gold one is a little more broad. And the steel one, you know, a little smaller breather hole, a little bit different design on the, the plating. But other than that, you know, they seem to roughly keep the same idea. So let's ink it up and see what we get. We'll keep that stand over here so one of them doesn't roll away while the other one's in use. Okay, piston went down easily. I didn't hear any bubbling. But you know what? On one fill, it's full. Uh, I have previously cleaned this pen, so I don't feel the need to like, you know, run that three times or anything to expel anything. Uh, that's one thing I did when I got the pen because I did, you know, with a vintage pen, you just never know where they've been. So I I cleaned it out. So let's see how these guys write. Okay, so the steel nib doesn't have a whole lot of bounce to it as far as I can see. Uh, I think it's writing perfectly well for an ordinary pen. Um, you know, if I'm just looking for a pen I can write with, I, I find no nothing objectionable here. Uh, wetness and flow.
Oops. Yeah, that seems to go just fine. The smear test. This isn't the wettest nib I've ever used, but for a fine, it's decently wet. Yeah. Uh, reverse writing. Uh, very faint. It's not scratchy at all, but it doesn't show up where the darn. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. All right, so uh, definitely the the gold one is a lot more fun to write with. But I think it's worth pointing out, it looks like it was skipping here at the start, uh, but then it picked up. I think I was actually holding the pen kind of at an off angle, because the, the broad definitely has a sweet spot. Uh, the broad is a lot wetter, but this is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, they both show off the characteristics of this ink pretty well, I think. And I picked this ink because it's a nice shading ink, and it happens to be a very nice color. Um, so, you know, if I had to pick one, I'll pick the gold one. But I'm very pleased with this fine one, and I, I think you'll see it in my rotation. It's, it's one I might be more willing to take places out of the house. Uh, you know, it's a nice-looking pen, but it's, you know, not irreplaceable if something happens to it. <laughs> does, does that sound horrible? Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I got to try it. Reverse writing. The broad did much better at that, but it was, it was uh, scratchy. This was smooth, but almost too little ink to read. So make of that what you will. And I think the steel nib is easier to find and of course it'll definitely be cheaper. So that was the Senator President. Like I said, I, I, I think I like the gold nib better, but this steel nib is pretty good for just daily writing and you know, doing your ordinary thing. So I do appreciate that. Uh, also, if something happens to it, it won't be quite the disaster as if something happens to the gold one. A little more resistance when I wrote and so on, but I liked it. Uh, one test I always like to do. But I knew it would pass because, oh, this isn't my shirt with the short pocket. Um, the other pen passed. It's basically the same pen with a different nib. So, uh, yeah, if you want to get into a, a senator president and you find a steel nib, don't be afraid of it. I've, you know, I haven't heard... The glowing compliments of it like I've heard of the gold nib but it's a good pen so well uh, thank you for watching and just remember this is a first impression so opinions do change so I uh, thank you for watching we'll talk to you later bye bye